Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to a new weekly vlog. If you're new here, my name is Crystal and I would love if you subscribe to the channel. So y'all, I started off this vlog at Marshall's and first of all, I got this spaghetti palm, whatever. We're gonna try it. I'll let y'all know how it tastes. Second of all, have y'all seen these cocktail mixers? They were trending on TikTok. All you do is add like a bottle of tequila into it and let it sit. And then you drink it. Wanted to try it so bad, but I behaved. And then I got this beautiful Alrighty, y'all. So I just hit up Marshall's. And I'm so excited because originally I was going to go to Marshall's and Target. But luckily, and Marshall's, because Target, I just need a body lotion. I've been using, like, this new body cream that came out from Trader Joe's. It's, like, their tightening cream, which I really do like. But I'm already out of it, obviously, because, you know, I use a lot of lotion. <laughs> so, I was going to go get some Nivea. And, luckily, when I was in Marshall's, they had the Nivea body cream. So, I got two of those. Because I knew if I went into Target, you know, Target's one of the places you never just get one thing. Low-key the same way, like Marshall's. You never just get one thing. It always ends up being so much more than what you would anticipate is spending. And then it's, like, annoying. So, I'm just so happy that I was able to, like, kind of get what I needed. And now I'm headed to the grocery store, but before I even go to the grocery store, I'm about to actually just, probably I need to go to the bank real quick to get some money for groceries. It is a beautiful Sunday. Okay, do you hear me? It's a gorgeous Sunday in the H. The weather is impeccable, like the weather that you just dream about because we don't get it that often where like it's not freezing, but it's not super hot, it's just perfect. And so I lately y'all have been grocery shopping at Aldi and I've always grocery shopped at Aldi, but I'll switch between Aldi, H-E-B and the farmer's market. But lately I have been heavy on the Aldi's. I think it's because I know like the economy is about to be crazy. And so I'm trying to be just more realistic and responsible with like my spending because I really do feel like we're about to be in like a recession for real, you feel me? So I'm trying to just like get down my cost of living expenses and try my best to you know budget a bit better so all these are the type of place i always joke that like when you put that quarter into the car it just gives you that mindset like baby you want to budget you don't got no money you feel me so <laughs> i got there to just really get what i need to get and go with that being said I have a complaint about all these and that is the fact that they sell onions and stuff in a big ass bag how can a single person i don't need a whole bag of onions i cook once a week y'all somebody tries to break into the atm and so now i gotta go and go to the other one <laughs> my bad <laughs> oh child i'm like i pull up and it's like beeping and stuff and i'm like what the heck is going on here also who thinks they're gonna break into an atm y'all i got my little cash i cannot believe somebody tries to break into the atm that is a wild ass but um yeah so i've been trying to shop places that are more budget friendly just to kind of keep myself in check also y'all what i will say is that so many people in my neighborhood are selling their houses it is crazy and i'm like one of those people i don't want to miss the boat even though i need to stop thinking like that because the way god never allows for me to miss the boat you feel me like god always comes through for me but lately i've been so nervous like i don't want to miss the boat like should i sell because a lot of my neighbors are selling their homes i guess just because y'all know like right now the cost of houses is like really good especially in texas and then on top of that you know um with the economy people are saying there's probably gonna be a recession so some people are like let me get all my equity out right now but my only thing is like say i sold my house where am i gonna go because the cost of houses is up so much that like i couldn't even buy the same house in my neighborhood basically you get what i'm saying so it's a interesting little thing So there was a plot twist. The last time y'all saw me, I was at Aldi's, right? I'm at Aldi's. Then my homegirl texts me, who it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, friend. She texts me. She's like, hey, girl. Um, We will be at Phil and Derek's at 730, right? And I'm like, what? Because I forgot that we're doing Phil and Derek's for her birthday. So now I have on just like a basic black dress, y'all. I'm about to throw on some cowboy boots because my toes aren't done, right? So I can't really have nothing out there like that. But um, yeah, I'm about to throw on my cowboy boots. 
and do my makeup real quick y'all saw i just curled my hair this is one of those times where i'm reminded yet again that i have to start keeping a calendar because the way things will be happening and i'm literally like wait what like y'all have seen this happen to me more than once where i'm like oh yeah y'all i thought i was having a chill sunday and here i am but of course i'm doing what i gotta do i'm about to put this very light makeup on um and head out the house i was honest with her and was like hey girl i'm definitely not gonna make it for 7 30 but i said i would make it for eight so i'm about to be a woman of my word and make it for eight anyway now i'm here y'all rushing like a crazy lady to go ahead and get some light makeup on my face luckily i like don't have to do too much but yeah goal for this rest of this year is to start being a more timely girly or not even timely because i'm not normally late y'all know i always put on my um ah, my lip gloss in the car so that's where that is right now it's in the car or is it my purse i don't know which one this is the look y'all i do have to throw on some mascara thank goodness i found it Alrighty, i'm about to go through all my books y'all i'm gonna change to my cell phone just because i don't want to bring my camera because i know i'm not gonna be recording like that but i will see y'all when i get there bye <laughs> Well, I'm home. I had such a good time with my home girl. So glad we got to get together. We went to, where did we go? Um, Phil and Derek, it was a vibe. Like I told you, it was like an older crowd, but I liked it. They had live music. They were playing like, you know, good old school jams. And so we had fun. But love y'all, I'm about to go to bed because y'all know tomorrow we gotta wake up at six in the morning to hit the gym, so toodles. Hey y'all, happy Monday. So I finished my workout. I didn't bring my camera camera today, so I have some clips on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, here's my Instagram. And I always post my workouts there, but yeah, y'all, here's some clips of the workout. No, the other one's Okay. Oh. And now I'm about to make a super quick y'all lunch because I did not meal prep last night because y'all know I went out. So I'm about to make like a 10 minute lunch. I'm just going to do a shrimp stir fry. And also, yes, sometimes I do bring seafood to lunch and warm it up. I know. I know it's not right, but I do it, y'all. <laughs> I know it's not right, but I do it. So I'm about to make that real fast. This is a great quick meal. Um, it's frozen sea it's frozen shrimp and then it's frozen Asian stir fry mix it together You got a bomb little meal. So I'm about to get down on that real quick And then we're about to get ready for work because it's already 8 15 Okay, y'all here's the stir fry I get all this is from Aldi's this is $3.99 and then I do buy the more expensive shrimp because they're bigger, but these are $9.99 so that is like $14 and so four meals, do the math, I'll do the math. But yeah, really affordable. So this is what we're about to make. My workout today was so good. It was like a push day, which I, I love. So it's like a day where we lift super heavy. And I just always make things feel so good. I let these freaking shrimp out. I thought they would be defrosted already, but they are not. And then these shrimp have 20 grams of protein. Another reason I like Argentine shrimp is that they have less cholesterol. These only have 18% cholesterol. Normally, 70, 70 milligrams. And normal shrimp have a lot more. I don't know how much. I'll look at it. Okay, so I have my shrimp going here, then I have my Asian stir fry here, and I'm about to cover this and cook this, and then we're going to be good to go. Hey y'all, so y'all know I made that healthy lunch today in the morning. Well, I get to work and it's like my manager's, not my manager, but my boss's boss's birthday. And so they ordered us free lunch, which is really nice. Um, I got just a bento box that came with chicken, veggies, 
tempura and then a salad and then also y'all they had cake so me and my coworker, we split a slice of cake in half so like he got the top layer and i got the bottom layer so i just have a little small piece of cake i think those are healthy compromises so i'm proud of myself also i feel like today is dragging but it's a monday so that is to be expected and i've just been like making sure to line up my week and send out any emails that i need to send that have any issues or anything important all right y'all i am home from work and we're just about to clean up my bedroom as you can see <laughs> i need to make the bed um because i just got the sheets out the dryer and just tidy up i'm gonna vacuum mop y'all are gonna watch me you know the vibes so yeah let's do it <laughs> like cleaner for like upholsteries carpets whatever in your house i have two suggestions and i'm also gonna have them linked in my amazon storefront y'all these are actually really really good i have been using them for a while and i give them a 10 out of 10 so first of all this frankly the google reviews are i mean the amazon reviews are going to speak for themselves this right here will get stains out of your carpet so well and off upholstery Right now, even the stains that are on my bed, I'm going to spray this a couple of more times and I know they'll be gone. I'll post, a, um, I'll insert like a picture to show y'all like this gets rid of stuff. And then also, I got the little green machine from Bissell. Y'all, this is from doing just my bed in one stair. Keep in mind, I got my carpet professionally cleaned less than a month ago so it's crazy that from one stair because my dog had an accident and i was like let me just do the whole step oh not one stair one step from one step on my stairs it got all this dirt this is disgusting but just to let you know how powerful it is so i love both of these i think they're amazing um i don't use the bissel too much just because i don't want to oversaturate my carpet or anything also if you hear my dog he's not in pain he's not hurt y'all his friend just left and so he's crying because his play date is over here he comes to complain to me about it he's like do you hear me crying bring my friend back <laughs> Come here, baby. But um, anyway, yeah. If you are looking to clean off a stain, baby, those two right there, 10 out of 10. So I'm to cook dinner real quick because um, intermittent fasting now started like today. <laughs> and so I need to make sure that I have dinner before 8 p.m. because that's like my cutoff time. So I'm about to make me some ground beef tacos. For dinner this week, instead of me making a meal and then eating it four times in a row, I'm trying something different where I make just the protein and I'm able to like mix the protein up how I want. So I'm making ground beef, but then that way I can do like tacos. I can do spaghetti if I decide to. You know what I'm saying? Not have to have the same thing. Cause I raw it, one thing that I struggle with is just like, if both meals are the same every single day, it's hard for me to stick with it. So yeah. That's my little rant about that. Here's my super basic dinner. Um, I just made a basic quesadilla. And then this is bitchin' sauce. People say it's pretty good. So I'm gonna try it and I will let y'all know. Okay, y'all. So I am done cleaning the kitchen. And right now I'm just like relaxing and doing a puzzle for a couple of minutes. <laughs> this puzzle, I got it from Marshalls. Y'all know I like to do puzzles occasionally um shout out to chizzy because she definitely like made me remember that puzzles are relaxing but i got this really pretty one from marshall's and so i've been doing this one i'm like just starting it so just a little something to like relax that allows for you not to be on your phone and just like decompress from the day you know 
It's a little cheesy, but get you a puzzle, y'all, and do it every once in a while if you need something to kind of lighten up the stress. Or coloring. Like, some people like to color, you know? My aunt, she loves to color. Like, she'll just get a coloring book and color to relax. My mom used to do the same thing, actually. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing, so. And listening to SZA, well, I have it on, like, um, Kalani's music. Her, our Kalani radio, and it's just playing whatever. But it ends up being, like, SZA, R&B Drake. Kalani Summer Walker, so very good chill vibes. And I'm sipping on some water, but y'all are sitting on the water right now. <laughs> it's so funny because right now I was just thinking, I was like, oh, I'm so bored. Like, bored as far as like I don't have no drama in my life right now, y'all. And that sounds stupid, right? It's like, bitch, be grateful. But <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm so bored. And I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Like, I'm embracing this season of boredom because I know that. I could be very entertained, but it would not be <laughs> by anyone that's worth the time. You feel me? So instead, I'm embracing, okay, I'm a little bored, but I'm not entertaining malarkey. You feel me? So yeah. She's bored at home doing a puzzle, relaxing on a Monday night. And I'm just grateful. I am in bed now. Thank goodness. I took a shower, I did my skincare routine, and I'm actually just, um, I'm about to do my, like, plan for tomorrow, just because I'm really trying to work on, like, setting my intentions for the upcoming day, and just having, like, a to-do list, basically. Like, today, I knew my focus was cleaning, and I did it. Like, my kitchen's clean, my bedroom is clean, and love that. So, I'm just trying to go through and tomorrow, figure out, like, what are, like, five key things I need to do, and then I'm also going to journal, um... I used to write in journals, but lately I've been like typing in them and I feel like it's going to, it's going a little bit better. Now I do get worried that like if something happens to my computer or anything that I'm going to like not have all the pages, but it's like whatever. I feel pretty secure. I'm about to take my little ASS to bed, honey. I'm just doing all my trackers. I'm really like crazy with Notion y'all lately. I'm like all about the dang habit trackers and everything because I'm trying to be the best version of me. Do you hear me? And you got to track what you want to improve, okay? But all right, y'all. Good night. I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. So, I have started off the day on a good note. I have filled up this with, I think this is 40 ounces or 60 ounces of water. I think it's 40. Let me see if I can see at the bottom. Oh, no, it doesn't say. I want to say this is 40 out 40 ounces, but I'm about to sip on this while I get ready for work, y'all. I didn't go to the gym today because I did not go to sleep till 2 a.m., 2 or 3 a.m. So I'm just gonna do a workout on my lunch break. And yeah, y'all, I just want to kick off the vlog for the day. Say good morning and let's get to work. Um, I'll probably see y'all once I'm on the way to work because me getting ready is like the same old, same old. Toodles. Y'all, I decided to come home for lunch just because your girl wanted to change the scenery. So I came home. Plus, y'all know I made seafood <laughs> as my meal prep. What was I thinking? Because Microwave and seafood in the work kitchen for multiple days is trife. I got away with it day one because we ordered sushi anyway, like the department ordered sushi and stuff. But it's like, girl, just go home and eat this. So that's what I'm doing. I'm about to sit on the couch and watch a little YouTube and chill. Also, <laughs> tonight I really want to go to freaking bingo. <laughs> So I'm trying to see if I can talk my homegirl into going. I'm about to call her right now and be like, what you doing tonight? You want to go to bingo? So 
back from therapy because y'all know it's Wednesday. It is 5.30. I have 30 minutes, like 30 to 45 minutes to take a nap. So I'm already back in my pajamas, in bed, showered in my pajamas, in bed. And I'm about to take a good old 30 minute nap before I have to start doing my makeup and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to update y'all because woo. After therapy, your girl needs a little siesta, siesta. And then I can like regenerate. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I just got to the office. I'm here early, so that's why I'm recording. But I wanted to show y'all all the stuff that I am restocking my office with now that we moved buildings. These are just things that I like to keep in my office. If you work at 9 to 5, keep them in your cubicle, keep them in your office, whatever. So first of all, a tie pin. This is essential. Next, shout wipe and goes. Good to have. A deodorant. This, y'all, is warm cider and cinnamon scented. So, it's from Christmas. It was half off. It's just good to have a deodorant in case you get musty. <laughs> a hand lotion. I always like to do one that's, like, calming. Essential oil base. So, this one's lavender calming. I just like to always have a hand lotion on deck. Then, I always keep throat lozenges because you never know when you're going to get a sore throat or anything and you just kind of want to keep them around a toothpaste a little travel toothpaste women in hygiene care just get a box y'all and leave it at your office it's better to like have it there. First of all, you work with other women. You never know when they're gonna need one. It's always nice to be that girl on the floor that has them. Also just for you. That way if you like change purses and forget, if you start midday, you have them. Next, a little travel toothbrush. I keep one of these, again, like, sometimes I forget to wear my retainer and so I will wear it during the day at work and you wanna definitely make sure you're brushing your teeth at lunch. Also, I keep a box of my hair vitamins here because I'm supposed to take these three times a day. So I try to make sure that I am stocked up. Instead of having to like remember to bring them with me, I try to keep two of some things because I'll forget and you're here so much. And this year, y'all, I'm trying to be more intentional with like my single plastic use. One big thing that I'm really bad about is silverware at work like I will get a fork for breakfast a fork for lunch two spoons I'll end up using so many single use plastics and so I did get some silverware that I'm just gonna leave in my desk these were only a dollar from Target they're they're pretty nice and it's just a nice way to have silverware so you're not using so much plastic now for snacks y'all I keep it pretty basic because I don't typically get that hungry during the work day, I'm like a night eater when I can lay on the couch. <laughs> well, y'all y'all know how I do, child. But anyway, I do try to keep snacks. Since we're on this weight loss journey, here's what I have. I have some Quest protein chips. These are the, like, chili lime ones. I love them. These have 18 grams of car um, protein. They are super expensive. I'm not going to lie, though. But I like them a lot, and they have a good amount of protein. And it's basically just replacing a protein shake. Then I also get the nacho cheese protein also love these i have just those and the last thing i have y'all this is ratchet but if your job is anything like mine we always have free food and so, because like you know like workplaces they will order like say they're doing sandwiches right the meetings for 10 people they don't order 25 sandwiches and so we'll have so much leftover food if we do like italian food if we do salads whatever they'll always have so many left over and because i work at such a small place and we're here so little um because you not only work in the office 20 hours a week but we're here so little so in order to like be mindful i will and so like there'll be a lot of leftovers basically there'll be a lot of leftovers and sometimes we end up throwing them away and i feel so bad we'll throw away so much food y'all like one time we threw away like a hundred hot dogs because just it was like friday or it was thursday who was gonna bring them home but me i keep tubbleware in my desk i keep just a little four set of tubbleware 
make sure that you but the rule always is if i bring one home i have to make sure i bring it home the next day if i bring one home i have to make sure i bring it back either the next day or like the next week so i got a new set of that just so i can have fresh set that way if there are leftovers you can like discreetly bring a plate to your office and then put it in the tub where now you have dinner just a little tip but yeah those are the main things i like to keep in my office y'all um also of course hand sanitizer but i didn't even video that because i feel like that's like a duh keep hand sanitizer these are my essentials i also always do keep a perfume in my bag but that's like something i just do no matter what because i do like to like midday just hit it when i get back from lunch um yeah y'all okay y'all that's gonna be the end of this week's vlog sorry it's a little slow i think it's just because i had a very normal nine to five uh, life vlog but yeah i'll see y'all on tuesday for a new video bye